Okay. Hi, my name is Sandy, and um, I was told about Ralph's work through a friend called Tony, and um, I thought I'd check out his videos, and I went online, um, and as soon as I heard him speak and saw him move his hands, I could hear in his voice absolute sincerity and care about humanity, and I felt I, I, I want to explore this further. So I joined up for the, um, the, the monthly sessions um, and love the bonus sessions of the Thursday and Friday sessions that come along with that particular package. Um, and things started to improve. And, and then I talked about, I, I sent Ralph, I spoke to Ralph about my friend Deepika and her situation and all of that. And then as time moved on and I, I, I listened to the videos and um, felt really confident about Ralph's work, um, I, I was very happy to continue that. And within in that period, two really dreadful things happened. It's, it's kind of unimportant what they were, but they left me, one left me feeling traumatized um, and the other one left me feeling it was a family thing um, and I left feeling um, guilty that I couldn't do anything. Um, and it reminded me of why I left Edinburgh in the first place. Um, and it was ghastly to witness and blah de blah So I get back to where I live um, and I contact Ralph. And then days after um, uh, an email landed in my in my email box from Ralph, um, asking if I'd like to do the the master the master course, the enlightenment master course, and it seemed inc price wise it seemed incredibly reasonable for me, and I felt I could cover that, and I was overjoyed actually, because what it does for me is it gives me discipline. I would watch the videos beforehand before I took this course, um, and yes, I was into it. But it was a bit hit and miss, you know, I'd, 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 I'd sometimes make the monthly meeting, I sometimes wouldn't, I'd sometimes forget to watch the after thing. Um, but I always got something from them, absolutely always got something from them. But the course is completely different in, in one sense, in that I was asked to make a commitment right at the beginning, um, and I made that commitment to do half an hour of the work every day for 100 days. and. I'm absolutely sticking to that. And everything has got better, totally better for me, for my friends, for my family. Good people are coming into my life. Good things are happening in my life. And I was crying earlier with joy because my friend Deepika phoned me from London to say that her youngest daughter has just been given British citizenship because of the seven year rule. No need to explain that, but it's a government thing. A child who has been born in my country, this country, and has no connection with their original, you know, their parents' country, has the right to be here because it's cruel to send them back. So on that basis, it looks like she's gonna get citizenship for herself, her oldest daughter, but she's absolutely got it for her youngest daughter. And that warms my heart, no end. And I'm so pleased about that. And that's one of the first things I told you about that I was concerned about when I first contacted you. Um, the second thing I contacted you about was my friends, um, Shad and Dale, who seem to be having problems with their cafe and sabotage and all manner of things. Well, they are doing brilliantly. Things have turned around for them as well. They haven't packed up and moved somewhere else. They've stayed put. Um, I feel lighter, brighter, uh, less afraid of my future. You know, I'm 67. Um, my physical health has always been good, um, but mentally I can be a little bit down in certain areas and certainly afraid. And I was dithering about, oh, you know, I'd really like to be in a relationship. Oh, that's never going to work out. Oh, oh, and then almost embarrassed about my age. 
you know, to be venturing into a relationship at my age. But I've never felt older than five. I mean, I feel young and vibrant and alive and good. And I'm, you know, I, I, I feel, yeah. So I suddenly feel, yes, I absolutely feel great about doing that. And then the work that I've been doing with you and the support, encouragement, total understanding, you know, all the emails back and forth. Um, it's gone, it's gone, thoughts gone. Um, I felt not only is it possible, but I have the best support in order to do this. You, you yourself, your total genuineness. Um, and this course that I'm doing with videos that I can keep and refer back to. And, um, and I love the course. But the one thing that was in my mind was, oh, I'm not bothered about money. I've got enough money. It's not very much, but I've got enough to suit my needs etc 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 and then all these amazing things for voice courses and choir came along and, and there's even a woman's course run by the co the guy that runs the choir and she's a fabulous woman she's 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 very motherly but she's very grounded but she's also fun and very understanding and it's a women's group only and having met her at this weekend thing i did i really want to do it and so you know, I'm needing money for more things than coming up. And um, I thought to myself, well, don't bypass the videos. Give it a chance. Watch them. So this morning, I did the Bee Blitz and then the three money videos. I felt terrific. I felt great at the end of it. I thought, oh my God, this is possible. Why, why say goodbye to the opportunity um, to have money in my life which can help me help my friend Deepika, whoever. Uh, and I loved, I loved the ideas and I've been carrying around an idea um, for a long time for a money making scheme. I've no idea how I'm gonna do it, but I know that it's possible. <laughs>